Obesity continues to be on the rise in this country and fewer people are trying to lose the weight. The findings are in the new journal in the uh, American Medical Association. And here to discuss the reasons behind this, physician nutritionist specialist Adrian Udeem. Dr. Udeem, thank you so much for joining us again. Sure, it's my pleasure. Well, you know, we all know the health risks of being overweight. Why do you think this is happening? Sure. So there is this steady rise in excess weight that has been going on for decades, since mm. the 80s. And we are at a time where um, we're at the highest rates of obesity and overweight in our country. Over two-thirds of our population is considered overweight or obese. And as you mentioned, yes, it's associated with significant health risks. Mm. Every organ from head to toe can be adversely affected by excess weight. The reasons, it's really multifactorial. Yes, it's uh, food intake, uh, calorically dense foods yes it's reduced physical activity but there's a lot of new data now that shows that there are things in our environment BPA for example that may change the way or the likelihood of us to gain excess weight so there are environmental factors outside of those that we usually typically think of well let's okay. think about the social factors as well because do you think a lot of people are not losing their weight because socially it's being more accepted you know that may be the case I mean it's pr almost cliche to say that obesity is an epidemic because we say it all the time and we've been saying it for years. I do think there's other things at play though. Uh, we know that people who are overweight or obese are less likely to go see their physicians mm. and so that's a missed opportunity to have the discussion. Um, we also know unfortunately that those that do go see their physicians don't necessarily always get the counseling. So um, physicians will report and this is cited in studies that they don't necessarily feel comfortable having that conversation and they're not making for the most part the referrals to people who can provide those therapies. Wow okay so that's uh, some physicians could actually you know discuss this with their patients more perhaps. Sure. Learn that in medical school maybe right. Well let's talk about um, those who are trying to lose weight. You know it's a struggle any tips? It is a struggle and you know it's not one size fits all. There's so many different ways to go about it. Um, I really uh, I really like to approach this in a simple and practical way. What I tell my patients is to make a list of the things that we can do and pick one at a time. Uh, too big of a bite is usually associated with lack of success. Um, a good one is packing your lunch. That's what Colleen does. She calls, yeah, her salads that. in her. That's good. You know, a, a, another JAM article that came out this year showed that the average calories in a restaurant meal is 11 to 1,200 calories. Mm. That's kind of what we should be eating, a lot of us, in an entire day. So packing your lunch the night before, it takes five or ten minutes, and you can cut significantly your daily calorie load. Wonderful, Dr. Yeah. Udeem, thank you. And she packed me a lunch one time. I She's did. so nice. That is so nice. <laughs> she doesn't want me to get fat, apparently. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate that. And if you want to know more information that we, about what we discussed today, check out her website, dradrianudeem.com. And thanks again. It's a pleasure. Thank you. It's great it's to see you.